All right, what's up, everybody? I'm Daddy Warbox, and today we are continuing our playthrough of the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Um, the story so far, the party, they originally met on the employ of Gungeon Rockseeker. They journeyed through and helped him reclaim the lost mine of Phandelver, and then they they took up another quest because they needed money. <laughs> uh, they went to the Forge of Fury, where Van were, were victorious there, and then, uh, seeking some more adventure, have decided to tackle the challenge that is the Undermountain in Waterdeep. And that's where we're picking up today. Uh, the party is currently on the second level. They ran into a bit of trouble after they angered a, a tribe of the native goblins that had set up kind of a black market on the, uh, inside the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. But, uh, having survived the encounter, they are going to regroup, return to the surface, and try to sell some things. Okay. Um, is that still the plan? Do you guys still want to go back up to try and sell shit? I'd like um, to just look around the bazaar a little bit first to see if I can notice any like signs that it was allied to the Xanathars at all, maybe? The goblins? Yeah. Uh no. No, there's no indication that they were uh members of the of the Xanathar's guild. In which case, then on our way up, I'd like to talk to those uh the Xanathars right up uh, upstairs. Right, cuz they're uh immediately up the stairs here. On the yeah. first floor, there is a Xanathar's watch post. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So you, you walk upstairs, uh, there's a couple bugbears uh, standing nearby. They they turn to you and you say, What? Back already? Yes. <laughs> we finished our mission, right? They said... What, well, we mission? Our missions. What one mission? Uh, we were trying to get some cardio in, go for a nice long jaunt, got the heart rate up, so uh, we're feeling better. <laughs> oh, I see. Scared of the mountain. Yeah. You can go back upstairs to the surface. Actually, the, we also came to let you guys know of an opening on the next floor. There's a bazaar and mysteriously everyone's gone. It seems abandoned. Oi, them stinking goblins. Work for the Zentarum, they do. Yeah? They're not there anymore. Gone? Yeah, we don't know what happened to oh, them. That's good news for us. Those stinking goblins. We've been looking for a way to kind of take over their operation. But... The Xanathar didn't want to start an open war with the Zents. There's enough trouble like that already on surface. Well, now that it's cleared out, you can uh, talk to your boss and uh, let him know we did that and we could get a percentage of what you guys sell out of there, you know? Oh, so, yeah. oh I will. Well, I'm going to tell everybody that you did that. Oh, don't, and he don't points a that. finger at Jesus. you. Jesus. <laughs> We didn't do clear it. it out. We yeah, let we, you know. We let you know we, it was cleared out. We, we were just walking We don't know where they are. Ignore my track and phone friend. Sorry, my list of phone It wasn't us. We just we went through. We purchased some goods. We continued our adventure. And coming back up top, we noticed there's a whole bunch of fire. And the goblins are all gone. We didn't do Fire? Anything. Yeah, there was a lot of fire. You didn't say nothing about a fire. The fires are gone now. There was fire. Now it's just a little charred. He he eyes you narrowly. I'm not quite sure that he entirely believes your story. Uh, I'm gonna need a deception check from somebody. Well, I'm the one who was actually trying to be deceitful. Uh, it looks like it's you. I I rolled. Oh, that's a good roll. Hold on. I have to contest it with an insight. 
Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. So he looks at you, and he kind of stro- strokes the hair on his chin for a minute. He goes, oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, so it, it wasn't you. Uh, we don't know who did it. it maybe we it was know. an accident. You know, the, you said there was a fire. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they all burnt themselves. Yeah. Yeah. All we know is we went in one day. They were there. We bought some wares. We continued. We came back, and they were gone. Oh, woo. Uh, what what happened to all the stuff that they had? I didn't. I think a lot of it burnt, but we'll we didn't comment. really touch most of it. Right. There was piles of stuff. I don't know if it's any good. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, he kind of looks at you for a minute. He's kind of like shifting on his heels uncomfortably. Uh, what do you want again? We'd like to go up to the top, back upstairs for a day or so, and then come back down. I was wondering if you knew an efficient way to go about doing that safely. Um, uh, Further into the the Undermountain, I know that there's, uh, he he makes like a circle in the air. Um, what's the word? You know, they're round and usually kind of big and they make noise. They look like blue. Round, usually kind of big and they make noise. Yeah, yeah. A what? A lake? No, not full of water. They're they're uh, magicy like. Um, a portal. Yeah, yeah. There's uh portals that they use to get to surface. Hmm. Whereabouts do you know of these portals? Oh, I I don't know. I never leave my post. Hmm. Do you know of one nearby? He just, or who we could talk to? He just to shrugs his shoulders. Near- you gotta be smart. Them wizard types usually know them. I would like to glare at uh, Xavier. Mm. What? <laughs> yes. Mm. Portals? Yes. I, I, there could be some down here. I don't, I don't know. Uh, If you have to absolutely go back today... Um, your friend doesn't to to the Xanathar, yeah? Yeah, we're friends with the Xanathar. Someone's got the patch. You do you, you wear his Trump? mark? Yeah. Well, where is it? Well, uh, I dig for it, and oh, here here it is, right here. Oh, all right. Well. Uh, I can I can lead you through our our secret tunnels, get you to the to the ladder a little quick. That you be like able to plan. use those to get back, right? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. So it's for one of you. Oh, and we told wow. you about the the openings downstairs. Wait, I thought you said you didn't do that. We told you about them. We didn't do it. We just let you know. He puts his finger to his chin again. Clearly confused. We told you that it happened. That there's an opening. We didn't do it. Oh, yeah. Opening. Where where does the ladder lead? Because we came down on a a crane thing. He looks at you. He's like, what? A ladder? I didn't say nothing about a ladder. Uh, definitely did, buddy. He shakes his head adamantly. No, nah, uh no ladder. <laughs> well, fellas, uh, we should probably make our way up, get our business done, then come back. I guess yeah. so. He was obviously Sounds good confused. To me. Would you care to lead the way? Well, well I, I can't go. I gotta well, stay here. Is the right direction? He just points behind him. Great. 
we go that way. All right. Uh, you guys walk through uh, for a while. Um, every so often, another one of the Xanathar that are posted through these tunnels kind of eyeball you and give you a hard time about passing through here since it, there, these tunnels are specifically reserved for use by the Xanathar. But you show them your patch, and they uh, wave you along with no more effort. And then eventually, you find yourself in the uh, the large 20x20 20 20 cavern underneath the yawning portal. You can see the hole in the ceiling well above you, and the ladder, or I'm sorry, not ladder. Definitely, definitely not ladder. Uh, you can see the rope hanging down through the, uh, the entrance way. We need the ring. Hmm. We have to give it a tug, right? Sure. Let's give it a tug. Well, you could fly up there, right? You, you I could fly, fly yeah. Fly up there on second. Time to bring us down. Like... If it's 20 feet by 20 feet, I can definitely fly up. Oh, no, that's just to the entrance of the hole, remember? Oh. If it's just tiny you, hole. You said, about, you said about uh, try, trying to fly before, and uh, it was strongly discouraged. By the uh, uh, by, those in the yawning portal. Sure. Okay, so ch- the, tug the tug the rope then. Tug the rope. Okay. After a moment, it starts to ascend slowly. Everybody, better grab on. Yeah, yeah. Grab, it. grab the rope. Grabbing. Yep. Okay. And then, uh, as you do. You are taken back upstairs to the ground floor floor of the Yawning Portal. Great. We have to go find Obaya Ude. She's the one who gives money for magic stuff, right? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, let's find her. Is she in the uh, building? Yes. Uh, as you look around, you she's still in the same place where you left her, um, sitting quietly in a corner, attended by some very large guards, uh, drinking a tea. Where the hell is it? Walk over there. There it is. She she uh, you see the guards kind of move closer to block your path, and then she slowly raises a hand. Allowing you access. How can I help you? Where is it? We have wares. He said you might uh, be interested in purchasing some. Oh? Uh Uh-huh. Well, tell me. What have you brought? Uh, Some very valuable wares. Um, Is there someone more private we could discuss this? Uh, At this point... I'm going to show you an illustration of the Yawning Portal. There's no way you're going to get some privacy here. Uh, it's far I mean. too crowded. She she looks at you uh, and kind of kind of confused. Privacy? You can speak your business here. Um, Dusky, could you reach into your bag and uh, just give her a, a, a quick look at the sword? Yeah, and so I reach in and I uh, start to pull out the sword and uh, slowly the sword of Perun's, the glowy one the glowing sword Yeah, and you can see it start uh, glowing as it starts to come out of the mega holding that's uh, very nice very rare as well and do you want to part with this weapon? Well, this and some other things as well, yeah. But why? This seems like a, a, a very... You know, it is of no matter. It will it will please my master greatly. Yeah, we're in, we already have very good weapons. We're looking for other things. So we part with this, and then we can acquire other such uh, items. So good though. Okay. Uh give it to my attendant. 
and I will pay you the agreed upon coin. We also have um, something else, but I haven't discussed selling it with the boys yet. Could you give me a second real quick? Uh, you can discuss your business in front of me. Okay. We have the stuff of striking that no one uses. I think all of us can use It's a simple one. Yeah, but none of us do. Well... Because you and I are never close, and Wolf, he can't hit anything if he's close. <laughs> hey. Look, if you roll a five... Uh, it maybe maybe the that. Staff of Striking would help him with that, though. Yeah, maybe. It's a plus three magic uh, weapon. Well, wait, how much are we getting for the the first for the sword? It's 50k for each. Wait, what's the Staff sure plus what? Are sure same agreed upon price? Yeah, that's the agreed upon price. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind taking the Staff of Striking just to have a melee weapon in case I need it. We have other melee weapons Ooh. that aren't worth 50,000 coin. They're also I'm not plus I'm three. I'm Sashka on this. Hmm? Well, so before we make these sales, do we know for a fact that there are good items we can buy here? There are no items you can buy here. Not from this person, but we're in Waterdeep. Waterdeep is a huge city. If we go looking, surely we can find... If we can find magic items in fucking Podunk, Phandalin... Uh, you're making a lot of assumptions right now. Because the, the, the only about. thing like, we've ever consistently said Wait, is we... there is no economy for magic items. Right. Maybe we hold on to the staff and sell the sword. 50k is enough, and then we go look, and if we need to, we come back and sell the staff. That's... Agreed. This is why we talk about it first. That's a great. I agree to that yeah. perfectly. Sure. sure, let's sell the sword then. Okay. So we'd like to sell you the sword. We're going to hold on to uh, other potential things you might be interested in uh, until a little later. So we'll probably talk to you again soon. Okay. Just uh, bear in mind that at some point I must return to home. I will be gone for quite some time. But uh... When do you plan on doing this? Oh, it it uh, is all dependent. You are not the only adventurers that I work with. And when I have a valuable enough cash for Wakanga, then I will be returning to Chult. Hmm. Okay, that sounds fair. We uh we don't plan on being too long. We're just going to uh go pick up some supplies before we head back down in town. So we'll let you know very very soon. Next couple of hours. Okay. All right, so let's cruise. So how much do we have? Did she just so she paid us or he? Was it he or she? She. 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 Okay. So we've been paid. 5,000 platinum pieces. Okay. Let me delete the sword from the bag of holding and add 5,000 platinum. 1,250? No. Yes? No. Yes. 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 No, no. Yeah, that's how that math works, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, 1,250 sounds about right. All right, I've added it to my inventory. I'm interested to see how many of you can walk after gaining 12,000 coins. <laughs> well, no, we have, it's, it's platinum. It's platinum, it's not gold. So, how much platinum did we get each? 1250. 1250. So, 1250. Okay. Oh, boo. There we go. Yeah, well, we we're not at a bank. I don't think we can convert it to gold, anyways, right now, right? No. We don't need to. It's worth. It's good. The way it is. Um, should we ask the bartender, perhaps, if he knows of anywhere that sells magical goods? Mm -hmm. Sure. Cloaks. Let's go do that, then. We'll grab his attention. Okay, so you walk up to Dernan, and he uh, looks at all of you, and he's like, gah, gah, ah, ah. You all owe me. What do we owe you? Did you not just use my rope to come back to the surface? 
did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I'll yeah. give him a gold. How much How do much? we owe you? It's you, you each owe me one dragon. Okay. Gold, right? Yeah. Yeah, give okay. him a, give him a gold. Thank you, sirs. Thank you all. I, I hand him a gold as well. So, as do I. what brings you back to the surface? We're looking to acquire some magical wares in exchange for coin. Aye, aren't we all? Yes. Well, if you'd uh, like to try and, and uh, put some feelers out there, I happen to be well connected within the Black Network. I can put some uh, some men to work right away. Sure. Uh, we're looking like establishments. Bah! Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think you are? Waterdeep. Yes, Waterdeep, the largest, most splendiferic of cities in all of Faerun. And you just assume there will be some lad sitting around like, Oh, I have magical artifacts for sale! So you have not heard of yeah. anyone wandering around town boasting that they have magical items that they could potentially part if with. If people walk around town boasting they have magical items to part with, then they what they have done is put a target on their back for the Zentarum or for the Xanathars to rob and kill them. No, I have not heard of anyone like that, sir. Oh my goodness. Well, if you do find somebody willing Whoa. to part with some, would they be willing to come down? And uh, sell them to us down in the. <laughs> in the <bay. laughs> well, of course not. Nobody but full. I mean, nobody but the strongest adventurers go down into the Undermountain. <laughs> mm, He's. Well, we happen to. <laughs> the Xanathars. Are they like a problem up here? Well, they're only one of the biggest gangs in all of Waterdeep. Do they have like a headquarters? He, he eyes you narrowly. Aye, they do, but it is not something safe for normal folk to talk about. They have ears and eyes everywhere. He kind of starts looking around. Hmm. Do you think the black staff might have stuff for us to buy? I mean... I'm sorry, did you just say the black staff? I did. You mean... I am you a mean... great hand, so I mean, I would know the black staff. Why would he? Why would he sell you magical wares? Hmm? Even if you were a member of the Force Gray, which I highly doubt. I uh, show him my insignia. He looks at you for a second, and then he he looks at the insignia. And he looks back, and he's like, "Wow! I thought you guys were a myth." The, the 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 force gray has not been mobilized in years. Why are you here? Why wouldn't I be here? But why are you just walking around flashing about your insignia? Aren't you guys supposed to be secret police or some other such nonsense? I don't know. Am I? Am I even here? What is this game that we're playing? Just answer the question! Secret? Not secret? I don't think so. Either he, way. He turns his attention back to the bird. Your friend here is fucking nuts! <laughs> I mean, if I were, really if I were you that. three, I'd distance myself from this one very quick! Force Gray coming around. He starts like scooting away from uh from from Xavier and kind of washing down to the. Be, uh... To be fair, we are trying to get access to someone that could potentially have things we're looking for. So he didn't tell you until now, till he needed to. <laughs> You're not from here, are you, lizard folk? Oh, obviously not. Secret here. <laughs> You saw me come into town, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. You were at that uh, that one rager that was held by the Baron. <laughs> I, for us. I for, uh, forgot most of that night. You know, I hit the sauce pretty hard. 
Uh, yeah, okay, so I'll tell all of you, okay? The uh, Force Grey are an elite military force here in Waterdeep. They answer to none other than the Blackstaff and the Open Lord herself. I would not associate with this man. He's here for a reason. He's a spy, a dog to the government, and and it's not safe to be around him. Cool. I don't think they heard you across the street. A- actually, you make a valid point. He's shouting, right? And and many of the other patrons are now looking your way. Can I give a quick look see if there's any one of concern? Uh, well, you are in the yawning portal. Everyone yeah, here like, is of someone, concern. <laughs> someone who's like making their way for us all of a sudden. Uh, no, but you see many hands disappear disappear under cloaks and cowls, presumably grabbing weapons. Hmm. This escalated. Oh. Look, uh, uh, just if you have business, uh, can we conduct it quickly? Because I. Uh, uh, the area is getting a little tense, and I would much prefer. Do you know I'd much do you know prefer. Shops where we could buy potions. Any apothecaries nearby? Yeah, down the road. Cool. Point it. Yeah, yep, he, he just points just that way. Cool. You go that way. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. Such childish manners. So I walk away. <laughs> Can we all go outside real quick? Can we go uh-huh. towards uh, not the apothecary? Yeah, you walk outside. Did you say not the apothecary? Yeah, I don't want to go there. I want everyone to think we're going there. Okay, all right. Somewhere else. To a different apothecary. Maybe we should have asked him if there was just a regular weapon salesman. And then we blacksmith? could go in there. And, of course. Yeah, a blacksmith. I'm sure we can we find can... a blacksmith. Can we? Can we look for a blacksmith? Sure. You find one, you know it's not. It's not hard. I was gonna hit that button. Okay. Wait, are we? We still have the picture of the. You know what I'm talking about the. The big cartoon picture with everybody in the bar up, right? Yeah, yeah. that's all I can see on my screen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't move you guys. I don't think I have a picture of Waterdeep proper yet. Didn't think we'd be spending a lot of time in the actual city, but you know. Fair enough. <laughs> such <laughs> such a silly fear monger. Do you want to like uh, chime in on what was said in there, <laughs> Xavier? Yeah, feel like he's in our mind a bit. Or <laughs> gray hand is just a simple. You know, we'd like to keep order in the city. It's no big. But what, you're not in the city. We were in not the city. We were in the portal. We're in the city right now. I think it's here. See the big black tower over there? That's that's where we bait. Well, if you're from there, wouldn't you know if they had wares to sell to us? You know, we, everything is... Think of us more like a, like a need-to-know basis. And I didn't need to know whether or not we had I know that they have magical items there. I don't know that she'd sell it to me or not. It really, depends. she would have to decide if we, she thinks we really needed them. But I, I don't. I don't know. It, it would be a. It's a long shot. To say that. Our other option is trying to make contact with the Xanathars up here. Oh, that. Sure. Yeah, they would. The people downstairs are very stupid. They they don't understand that carrying around a patch. Is, are they associated with those upstairs though? They are. They would be much more difficult to you know convince. They're not stupid bugbears and goblins. They're actually right. Like, but like we did like, them a solid down there. You know, mind flares. These people would see straight through whatever ruse you were trying to say. We don't have and to tell them a ruse though. We're not members of the Xanathari Guild though. Obviously. Right, we don't have to be to make business with them. I I believe it would be in our least, very, would not be in our best interest to to, to contact. 
then definitely don't want to contact the, the, the Zents either, since we uh, apparently massacred everyone. Oh yeah, those I wasn't going to think about. <laughs> yeah, there's a little war going on between them right now in the city, so... so we should not Over. care. But we should definitely make our way to the Blacksmith, because we might get some more leads there. That was a good yeah, idea. Um, I'd like to just, while we're making our way to a blacksmith, dick, uh, dip into um, like a an alleyway and just dump all the potatoes I have. Just like in an alleyway just, somewhere. Just dump all the potatoes? Dump them all. Yeah, they were getting a little sickly and I don't want to have them around anymore. And then, yeah, let's make our way to a blacksmith. Okay, sure. and you're at a blacksmith, and he's hammering away. He's got various things around his store. And he looks at you. What do you want? I'm not sure my compatriots, but I would like a couple of ten foot sticks. <laughs> I see. Wise and adventurers. Although, why would you want come here for this? I mean, wouldn't you need to go to a sundry? I mean, I'm, I'm a blacksmith. I make not, I make weapons and armor, and I don't make sticks. Mm -hmm. We start with sticks, and then ask if you know of anyone selling anything more special. Special? Uh -huh. I, I'm not connected with anything except the Artisan's Guild. I I hit my hammer to the anvil and I make things to sell. It's a simple life, but it's one that's good enough for me. If you uh, are looking for anything special, I hear that the Zent ghettos have uh, people sit on corners and they can offer you whatever you need. And he kind of looks at you with, uh, and then he looks at Drop and... Strange couple, I take it, but uh, yeah, I hear there's something for everybody in the ghetto. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, we don't have tokens here, right? Okay. Tokens? Yeah, because that's the only way I know. Is that slash, uh, how do I whisper to you? Slash, uh, Slash W is a whisper. Space, yep. and then DM. Oh. Or is that work? Hmm. No, Oops. it's GM. Slash W, space, GM, space, message. Or... This is more complicated. Anyways, um, <laughs> are you trying to tell me that <laughs> you won't sell me a few sticks? I, I, I guess I want those sticks. That wasn't like a joke. I actually want some 10 foot sticks. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm totally understanding of that, sir. But I sell weapons and armor. I, I don't, I don't have sticks. Oh, what do you make the hilts of your weapons with? He holds up a, 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 an iron ingot. And he says, this! I melt it down and I hammer it and I shape it. Do you, you not like know axes? what a blacksmith is? What about axes? Don't you have like a wooden base for the axe? What? Never mind. Where, <laughs> could you point us in the direction of someone who could sell me some sticks? If please? you just walk down the road, I'm sure you'll find one uh, eventually. Maybe we should. Oh, let's go get some sticks here. We probably need them. Tuski, did you have something to say? No. I don't understand like what they us. want to do! <laughs> let's go down the road to find someone to sell me some sticks. Let's find some sticks. A real blacksmith that sells sticks. <laughs> yeah, a blacksmith yeah. who makes stuff out of wood. Yeah. Well, you yeah. gotta you gotta expand in the market. If you're gonna... Wooden shields; those are the way to go. That's that's the future. All right. So eventually, you're able to find a sundry, 
And they have all manner of adventuring gear, including a large bundle of 10 foot six. Do I have to like type in to see how much this costs somewhere? Uh, adventuring gear in the uh, in the compendium will have everything you need. Cool, cool, cool. And a bundle of sticks is here. I uh, know, just one. Oh, what's a stick? One cost? stick. It's a ten foot stick. I actually think what's they're ten foot stick. I actually think they're called ten foot poles. <laughs> Not sticks, poles. A pole, ten foot pole. Wow, I'd like. Uh, they weigh seven pounds. They're ten feet long. It's a ten foot long core of wood. Like, what are you? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Sasha's just running from store to store. Give me your wood. <laughs> <laughs> can we get it cut into sticks? <laughs> well, I mean, you can. You can, but kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> Like, he wants the oh, whole yeah. ten-foot thing. <laughs> I think maybe... I don't know that we're going to find anything, guys. Maybe we should just go back into the dungeon and start killing stuff. Make him give ourselves... We haven't even finished asking questions yet. But I would like to buy a few sticks. All right, yeah. Flat, right. Proper piece. Buy your sticks. That's a good idea. Hmm. What do you mean? It's, it's definitely a good idea. We need sticks, dude. I mean, I still maintain the ten foot pole is the best piece of adventure gear in the game. Yeah. All right. Uh, Wait, why don't we add it to the thing? New ten foot poles in hand. You need to. Wait, you mean your sheet? I'm trying to add it to my. Sacky McSack face, and it's not adding. Mm. I can't add Paul to Sacky McSack face. Let me see. The potatoes were going rotten, that's why I got rid of them. That's fair. Yeah. Mm. I better. did it. Thanks, dude. Did we? Did we get a 10 foot pole just because we weren't sticking out enough? So. <laughs> oh, God. Puns. Is there anything else we need here? Um, I need to find some place to just get some more uh, supplies for summoning familiars because I've done that a lot. I'm going to buy a few more arrows while I'm here. Okay. Can yeah. I find somewhere to buy a bunch of incense? Charcoal and other herbs. That's that's here. That's in a sundry. Oh, okay, good. I'll spend two hundred gold to get the materials. For it. Uh, ah. So that's what twenty more summonings of a familiar. Also, I hate you. <laughs> could we ask uh, the shopkeep if they knew of anywhere we could get some wares Ooh. fancy wares he looks at you kind of hurt what do you mean fancy my wares are good enough aren't they like how did we find somebody in Fandolin that would sell us magical wares because she yeah, was like it was special. no big thing and they're acting like what the fuck? You it was kind of a big thing it was a big thing she didn't no. just let you in you had to earn but her still. trust and then she said she was a member of a certain right, group do you remember what group happened. that was oh man i can't remember started with a z though hmm, hmm. So what are you guys doing? I guess we could go check out the ghettos. I mean, we're strong enough. We could probably beat off anybody trying to find us. You gotta do what? Um, <laughs> you want to hang out with the Xanthar, but you'll hang out in the ghettos? Why would there be magical wires in the ghettos? Get, you know, I want to get back down to the, you know, the whole clearing out that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they know what he said. You're just going to repopulate itself. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. I know I'm a fucking kid, man. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great if it sent me back into the song. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, It'd help if we were a little stronger going back down, though. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Tell me somebody clipped it. Is there anywhere else we want to check, or do we want to get going? <sighs> Is there anything else we need besides... Like that. Okay. How are we on rope? We're good, right? Uh, I still have plenty of rope. We can refill food. it here. Still have plenty of food, I think. Okay, well then, I'm ready to start the adventure again. Wolf? I'm ready to get back into it. Sorry, then. So you guys are sure? No, it's fine. Let's go back. Got every all the adventuring well, I gear. I mean, it just need. doesn't seem like we're gonna get any uh, any magic here. I mean, as no. much as we want it. No, I already told you That's what you need to do to get it, but you didn't Why believe me the first four times money. I said it. We can just spend all our gold on potions. Do we have a potion? Sure. Or yeah. Let me. Really not, not. It's not a bad idea getting a bunch of potions. Yeah. How much is the? On that note, there we go. Uh, I'm going to take some greater healings. All right, no, no, no. Let's do some superior, superior healings here. So I have what? Uh, 12,500? 12, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to do two... Three, three, uh, superior healing potions. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. SUP. Hmm. I'm gonna take five. Okay, and that will bring me down. To uh, 11, 1100 platinum still. Okay, that's all. I I think that should hold us over. Just in case a healer goes down, I can. So, superior healing. How many did you get? I got three. I got five. So, I'll take three of those as well. And that drops me to 1100, you said? Yeah. We're at 1250, so. Um, how would I add that to my sheet? You know, for the scrolls, uh, I'm assuming there's a limited thing, right? For the scrolls, I can't. If I can't cast it, I can't get the scroll and use it, right? Like if it's not a warlock spell, I can't cast it. What was that? No, it, the sp in order to use a spell scroll, it has to appear on your spell list. That's what I thought. Okay, just checking. Even if it's, or if it's higher, if it's higher, then you can cast it. But there's, there's a roll. There's a roll to see if the spell functions properly or not. Like if I were to get a fifth level spell oh scroll. Yes, oh and you don't have access to fifth level spells Same. yet. You would, you would make a roll. Let me, let me see if I can find the compendium, please, for you. Thanks. I'm just seeing if there's any good at three of them. There you go. Hi, girl. Uh, see. Yeah. That's what I thought. Is this the same DC? Oh, wait, no, ma'am. Yeah, it's 10 plus the spell's level. It also be 15. Yep. An ability check using your spellcasting ability. Okay. Yeah, so if your spellcasting ability is Charisma and you have a 2, you would roll a d20 plus 2. Cool. And so it'd just be a, a wisdom check for me. Yeah. Is there 
are you gonna like say what spells are there, or can I just look through the ranger list? You can you can look through the ranger list. Yeah, and then ask, we'll say ask. you find a uh, a uh, library, and they have scribes and access to every spell imaginable. And for the right price, they will they will scribe any spell to a scroll uh, on request. Great. That price? At the price listed there, yes. Up to fifth Great. level. Uh oh. Let me get one for later. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna buy three counter spell um, scrolls then. Except that one. They don't know that one. No, oh, I made a mistake. Of course they don't. Of course they don't. <laughs> they, don't they don't know that one. Uh, I don't no, know you that. you could you could totally buy those. Thank you. Why are there only two level five spells for range? Because you're a half caster. I got a quick question. So are we in a campaign now where we're searching out gold that we cannot spend on anything that we want? So we're gonna have like tons of golds to invest in like potential farm property later. You can spend it on whatever you want. Like I've, I've said no, it three times. No, there's no vendor that just is going to straight up sell them. Right, but like them. he said, when you first asked, you can hire people to go and hunt for the stuff that you want. That's how it works. I see. But we can't. But we'd have to resurface every so often to check to see if somebody found anything potentially. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we go back to the bar and do that. Fuck sake. Mm -hmm. Or invest well, yeah. in farmland once we finish the campaign. You could totally do that too. Okay. Invest in uh, yeah. farmland or a keep or uh, you know something like that. Are you there can... keep for sale? I, I'm sure if you looked around you could find one. Maybe a potato farmer. You know? Well, that way we are always... I think the lesson here is to never give you guys any more fucking money because then it just <laughs> <laughs> devolves. <laughs> The fun of it, I'm gonna take one potion of water, water breathing. Okay. All right. Well, we got our potions. We're ready, right? Let's get it. Sure. One second. Uh, maybe I'm trying to watch. I mean, I just added superior uh, healing potion to my list, so. Just type it in. That's what I did. Spell I assume, us. That, I assume it'll be a roll when we use it, so. I should have this as a criteria for the roll. There should be a button when you click your token. And then you can just select uh, the type of potion it is. Let me get. Uh, sorry. Let me see. Click like here, maybe? Does it? It doesn't use a spell slot to cast a spell scroll, right? No. Okay. Can I get three more scrolls? If you have the if you have the gold for it, yeah. Okay. What right, what I'm, are they? I'm gonna get two dispel magics and one blight. Which blight is I level up? I know, but I don't, it's an emergency spell. Is that cool? Why wouldn't it be? I just want to check. This is this is destroying me. Wait, are we this back where we left off? Inane. No, I just just switching the map so that he could see his token because he was asking about the size of the potion. Oh, uh, okay. Those supreme ones are thick. So how can I take so everything from them? In the... I need to punish them for this, but I don't know how. 
Okay. Items thing it's been an hour. So I can try and click it over, nothing. but I don't see it. I'll just leave it typed, I guess, for now. Potions right there, and then if I click... The great shot in adventure. <laughs> well, we have some. Uh, oh shit! Wait, Swift Quiver is gone. Oh shit, pots now. What? I'm looking at the the thing because there used to be more spells for Ranger that I remembered, mm. but Swift Quiver is gone. I guess that means they removed it. <laughs> removed it from what? Does it not exist about? anymore? You don't have access to Xanathar's guide. I'm showing you six spells available to you at five. At five. Commune with nature volley. Yeah. He I'm doesn't have access to Xanathar's guide. Oh! They literally just said that. Yeah. I don't see okay. that. So those, I only see Commune with nature and tree stride. You should have a bunch of handouts in your journal with Xanathar spells. Didn't I add that for you? Yeah, but, but not level 5 spells. Because I'm not getting those to level 18, right? Wait, I have Xanathar's guy. I won't mind a couple Conjure Volleys. That's not a good spell. Sounds good. But I don't have Conjure Volley in the list. Wait, why can't I make it a handout? It's not on your list? No. Okay. Oh, here it is. If I search Conjure Volley specifically, it's there. <laughs> if you if you donate for it, they will come. That's fine. Let's just go. Okay. Is it everybody? Uh, do we? Hmm? Do we still have that circlet that we took off the gamma that you know? Change his appearance. Yes? Question mark. Yeah. yeah. I would we definitely like do. to use that. Uh, to put it on. Uh, yes. How tall are you? This character is. Uh... Is she going high? And growing height, right? Sorry, one sec. How did I have a second ago? Let me save you the trouble, right? Okay. Uh, you put the circlet on, and your appearance doesn't change since you're already humanoid in, in uh, appearance. And your height, you actually grow shorter by three inches, as you're probably much taller as your half elf, right? No, I'm a human. Okay. Well, so then you look exactly the same. It has no effect. But there is a distinct poof as the, the magic activates, and when the smoke clears, he looks exactly the same. Crap. Okay. Oh, but any of us, animal folk, can look like humans. Whoa! <laughs> ah! <laughs> what are we doing? It's not why. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we head back to the yawning portal and. and uh, Wait. Do we, should we do the test to see what Sash would like as a human female? No. <laughs> no. Do it. Uh, okay. So if, if I want to do the spell scroll thing, I just like 
do plus and then type the name of the spell thing. What, what do you mean? Like in my inventory, if I want to get some spell scrolls. Yeah, yeah. You just add like spe- you know whatever the spell is, spell scroll, and then however many. Let's okay. see what their levels are. All right. Because we're definitely attacking them. Six. I think it's six, seven, seven, seven. Okay. Seven, add seven, five. seven. Okay. So five. Yeah. One. Level six. Cool. Three. Level sevens. All right. Let's go out of the dirt and put out some feelers for yes. extra stuff. Yes. Yes. I'll let you guys do that. I'm gonna try yep. and not be yep. as conspicuous. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't like the attention. Sure, you don't want to flash him some sort of hidden badge so to make sure him not. Over no, for I'm fine. No, I don't want to. No more attention. Didn't ex- suspect he would do that. I'm sure the black stuff will not be happy to hear that. But you know, that's what happened. maybe put your hood up. <laughs> put yeah, I, I put my hood up always. Uh, give me one second. My roll twenty's bugging out. Oh no, that means I'm gonna have to <laughs> bring up all my notes again. Okay, so you guys are all done shopping. We're gonna head back to the yawning portal. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. As you guys begin walking down the uh, the streets to head back towards the portal, um, you notice two things, okay? One, the bustling city streets of Waterdeep are suspiciously clear. And two, um, you can see the city guard and the cloaks that accompany them, they are actively turning their back and walking away from you. So, uh... Seven. Who are you going to blame for this one? What would you advise me to you guys um, uh, we need to just get to the damn rope and get out. Uh, at this point, we, our safest place may be in the dungeon full of nasty shit to fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So as How you guys... We? Uh, well, y- you think it's maybe just two blocks away, right? It's not too much farther off. You just have to turn right at the next intersection, and then it's a straight shot to the portal. Sure. Let's go! Okay, and as you round that corner at the next intersection, you are uh, face-to-face with something very alarming. I love you, Daddy Warbucks. Bar save! Oh, Thank sorry. you for the sub. It's the only way I can get that weird share button to go away. Share button? Alright, um, so you round the fun. corner, and you see a large gathering of people ahead of you. Uh, various races and, and and but they all are dressed the same uh, black from head to toe and they they have an insignia on the shoulder of their coat uh, it almost looks like a a spiral dagger with a pair of wings as uh, as you guys round the corner one of them an orc that stands in the middle of the pack he shouts that's them get them Wait, what? Roll initiative. No negotiations? <laughs> roll. We've had enough talking today! <laughs> we didn't talk to these people. Do I mean, initiative not roll? What the fuck, dude? How do I roll initiative this bad? <laughs> you fucking... There it goes. Okay. There we go. There we go. Did he roll advantage? Um. Yeah. I'm some kind of stupid. That's all I'm saying. Whoa, what is up with my... So glad we bought that stick. <laughs> Which stick? Poke them once we... The ten foot pole. 
Those ten foot poles are gonna so that Dusky doesn't get eaten by more slimes. Once we kill them all, we're gonna poke them poke their eyes out with that st- shish kebab eyes. And I have to reload again. My my turn tracker is behind the map. Something it's really <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, how is everyone? Do we recognize any symbols on these people? You know? Uh, you mean... Somehow upset the entire town? No, this is just some factions at odds with the Force Correct. Sure, I had nothing with all, to do with all the blabbering inside the... Yeah. Pretty sure okay. that... Okay, um... When that I reloaded... Me. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, we got it. Cool. <laughs> All right, Xavier, it looks like you're going to be first in combat. Great. Ask him okay. what's up first. You can't put the term tracker on the GM layer. It, Do it all look like humans? Or uh, it's no. Just very... Remember I said they are of various races, dwarves, elves, humans, uh, goblins, orcs. orcs. Okay. Yeah. It's a big collection of varying peoples. And they all look very angry. Chat, why are they angry? Are they angry because he's a first go- uh, Force Grey? Or are they angry because they have allied themselves with the Xanathar? So angry? Are you going to spend your action trying to communicate with them? Well, well they didn't respond. I assume you just killed them. Force so. Grey. Okay. Uh, some of them, you hear them shout, Kill the Force Grey! Others are like, down with Xenotar! Target him. Uh, Hex. Hex who? Both. Or screen. Can you guys hear me? Is this working? No, I didn't uh, hear anything if you said you something. Said? said a bunch of stuff. Uh, who are you targeting? Hex and him. Right, great. And I'm just gonna blast him because. Oh, that's that's a nice roll. Oh no, that's hex. Yeah. I was just. Did they, did they did they reply when he asked why you were pissed? Dead yeah, yeah. They here. said they said down with force gray. Well, of course. They did. All right. Uh, all right. Well, I'm just going to blast the guy hex. Uh. Yep. And yep, that's a dead guy. Oh, so then the second one attack was there, and yeah, it's it. All right, uh, this guy. I'm falling back. He is going to run forward. He gets right up in in Wolf's face. Let me actually put you guys into a square. He gets right up in Wolf's face. And he gets his his grimy beard real close to you. He says, you're gonna die, Xantharum scum. And then he starts attacking you. So he he slashes at you twice with his scimitar, catches you for seven. Then with his other hand, you see him pull up a dagger. He tries to drive into your side, but you're able to spin and avoid the blow. Uh, Dusky, you're up next. All right, so... And why does he have 70? What? I'm going oh, to... Right. Let me measure real quick. Uh, yeah. That's my max range. Let's... Let's move to, like, right here. So, right... Did he just move further back? No, he moved. He he's aligning with the square. He's still in the same spot. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna move right. I thought we were closer one square. Oh, oh well. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me double check that range. So again, so I don't go too far. I think I'm good right there. 
Yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can totally get there. Okay, I'm going to go right here. And then we will uh, rage. So <clears throat> we're going to attack him. Attack him again. And Divine Fury. Oh. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, he is dead. Two quick slashes with Arundel will take him out. Put him down. Okay, and that's it for me. Sashk. Look, I'm just saying we're not Zentarum. I don't know what that is, but it's not us. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... The... What? Hmm? We're not Zentarum. They are. Oh, you think they say down with the Zentarum? No, down, down with the Xanatharum. Oh, we're not them either, technically. I'm going to hunt like that guy. Technically. In the back, the thick boy looking one. And then shoot at him a couple times. Uh, one. Yep. Does that hit? Oh, yep. yeah. Cool. Oh. Oof. How about that one? A melee attack. 17 hit? Okay. Uh, yep. Hmm? Yes. What about 28? Uh, it would. Except at this point, he will use his reaction. Um, as the arrow, he, he takes the first two arrows and he sees you lining up a third shot. He's going to reach and grab the uh, bandit next to him by the shoulders and he's going to shove him in front like a human shield. And your cool. attack is going to hit him instead. Lovely. So a, okay. 11 to the bandit with Dread Ambusher? Uh, it'd be 15. Oh, yeah, it gets 11 because he's not 100. No, he's not 100. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the arrow hits him square in the center center mass, and the bandit gives out a hook as he dies. Then, yeah, I back up a little bit, and that's my turn. Then <laughs> next player in line. Oh, that would be Wolf. Wolf gets a net 20. He, yeah, that's good news. Hey, he has a nat one. I'm gonna get. I'll remember. All right. So the bandits now, they are going to do bandit things. Thirty. Oh, he can't reach. Thirty-five. What is their actual movement here? Thirty. Twenty-five. Yeah, we're just move all these guys up. Is he making noise for anybody else? I wasn't. Mm. I wasn't saying anything. Okay, wasn't sure. No, I'm just moving all my guys first, and there we go. Oh wait, I had two bandit captains. Son of a bitch. Uh, okay, so we have four bandits attacking Dusky. Uh, well, these are melee. Did they? T what? It looked like they were in front of me and then snaked around behind. So I would assume if they're getting behind me, I can attack them. They they never leave like opportunity stuff. They have to actually walk away from from you. Ah, okay. But they're still within five feet. All right, so we got four on Dusky. Okay. Uh, all miss. Oh fuck! DC twenty two. Then we have uh, one melee against Wolf. Miss. And then the other three, they're going to fire their, their crossbows at Sashk. Uh, take 11. <laughs> and then take eight more. Do it uh, one at a time. Minus 11, then minus eight. Because each of those... All right, there's the first one. All right, both save. And then the last one is a miss. Wolf. Hmm. 
This says uh, difficult encounter. It doesn't seem very difficult. <laughs> Where'd it go? I got rid of it. Yeah, he was about to... Can I hit all three of these? With your breath weapon? Uh... No, doesn't look like it. Maybe if you moved and you went down a square. No. Oh, wait, here we go. Look, check it out. Step forward a square. Then I can only hit two. No, ah, look right there. All right, I can hit those three. Yep. All right. Yeah. He wants to do his breath weapon. We'll do that instead, and it'll hang on to the 20. Alright, uh, so 12 cold, DC 15. Cool. Come on. Well, that one failed, at least. Okay, finished? I'm um, finished. The other two took the half damage, right? Yep. So the bandit lord runs up. Um, as he does... He is going to, um, he, he doesn't attack Dusky, right? He just charges, and as he charges, he, he starts shouting to all of his men, Don't worry! Fear not the Xanathari scum! We will be victorious! And they all start cheering, and they're, they're holding their swords up in the air. Uh, he, it's almost like he's whipping them into a frenzy. Xavier? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. He's gonna go ahead and move his hex there. To where? Uh, the this guy by uh, Wolf. Yep. And uh, well, Eldritch blast him a few times. Then thirty feet. So everybody but those four. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Rolled it. Yes. That'll hit. And that should send him 10 feet away. Are you going to roll for the hex? Yes. There you go. And I'm going to move. Uh... Xavier moves there. And that is Xavier's turn. Okay, the captains. So they are both going to continue attacking Wolf. And uh, we're going to do this slowly because I have extra dice to roll. 19 is the magic number, so let's see. Nope. 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 Well, it doesn't matter if I have extra dice if all my rolls are terrible. Uh, Wolf, one of them manages to stab you for five. And then Dusky, it's your turn. Okay, well, I guess uh, we're going for the leader. So I'm going to attack the big dog. Boom. That's a miss. 
Boom. And on the second Boom. one, uh, he is going to parry. He lifts up his sword, blocking yours, and uh, you fail to, to strike the bandit leader. Oh, cool. So do I have to roll something special, or does he he doesn't roll for that? It's just a thing he can do. It, it's it's one of his reactions. Mechanically, he gets okay. he gets a bonus to his AC, making so that even though you would have hit him, now you don't. But you can but break through that, right? He used well if you would have hit higher, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. But he used his reaction on that, so when I send arrows towards him, I mean this one's gonna miss because it's not one. <laughs> but maybe the next one hits him and he doesn't get to put a dude in front of him again uh, you have disadvantage on your next attack roll against any enemy oh, cool. shit. well I'm attacking the same dude of course you are and that's still a hit um, yep that's my turn that's on the captain dude or yes. the lord, sorry. Yep, that's the lord. The captains are the ones that look like pirates. <laughs> Arr. Arr. All right. Uh, so now the bandits are going to run in. Woohoo wee. All right, we'll attack Dusky first. Two. On that one huh? there, hold on. That would make it a 22. So that one will hit Dusky for five. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Reduced. Reduced. You're raging, is what he means. Oh, okay. So it's. But it's still five, right? Uh, when you're raging, you only take half. So you take two. Oh. Uh, 21 is still a miss. That's a miss. Then we have three over here by Wolf. Wait a minute. 17? Oh, I do have to roll for those. Hmm. 19. Okay, so that is a 20. That's a hit on Wolf for 7. And then the second one. Extra. It's, it's his rousing speech. All of his uh, allies get extra D. It's like your bless. And so that's two 20s. Seven, uh, 17 and 3, 16 and 4. So that is 7 and 2 damage you've taken. 1, 2, 3. And then, uh, Wolf, it'll be your turn. Hmm. I'm going to use Mass Healing Word on all of us. Nobody's Okay, okay. Then I'm going to hit this guy with my Frostbrand. That is a nat 20. Go ahead and roll two oh. more d6s. Seven, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. That is going to kill the bandit. Nice, nice. Thanks for the nat 20. Okay. Uh, and then that's it for you, right? Okay. Um, the Lord, having already given his rousing speech, is just going to go on the offensive and attack Dusky. Okay. Uh, hit for three. Okay. And, and then a hit for four. So seven total. And then Xavier? All right, I'm going to keep uh, pelting this dude.
<clears throat> you're so wrapped up in your spell casting, sometimes you forget you're even fighting in a battle. Uh, if they attack you, they have advantage, but they're so far away. Okay, I'm gonna move. Okay, the captains are here. Why is it not doing that? Why is it what doing what? It was saying not uh, na uh not a number on there. I was typing in it and it wasn't registering. I just did it via the sheet instead. It's fine. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so they're gonna attack Wolf a bunch again. I think the Lord's uh, bonus has worn off. <laughs> from one leadership die and the effect ends up oh no it's still going okay uh here we go captain's attacking wolf uh nope nope yep. 22 will hit for six do i need to roll the extra die on that or no 20 is a hit already hit for eight a hit for five and that one I do need to die. 19 is a hit. So how much was that total? 6, 8, 5, and, and 4. So 9, 17, 23 total on Wolf. Yep. Gooski. Okay. So... Let's get the cap. Let's go for the captain again. Swing! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Never wow, mind. that is a lot of red there. It's just, that's what, four? Those are, I'm not on it today, boys. Okay. Too much, uh, too much time spent bartering and and not trading. Not a, to shop more. <laughs> no, shop, no, yeah. your barbarian has been weakened by lack of combat. <laughs> All right, that's yeah, that's a... nothing. All right, uh, Sashk. Yes, let's shoot some arrows towards the guy again. Mm. Hit. Uh, second one would hit, but he has another reaction this round. <sighs> okay, what do he do? Well, he grabs the uh, little guy next to him, and once again, he kind of ducks down and holds the dwarf up, and your arrow pierces through the dwarf and kills him. Hold the dwarf. Hold the dwarf. Okay. Well, that's my turn. Oh, that was his party. Oh, nice leader. Like, He's killing his seven. homies and shit. Nat 20 for the Lord. Ooh -wee. I didn't know you were all into, like, Jesus and stuff. All right, the bandits. Uh, we have two here next to Wolf. We'll do those first. Oh, God, and it matters. It all... No, wait, he's too far. All right, so Wolf, you get hit for five. Uh, the other bandits over here by Dusky. No, it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. The 18. Let me see. Nope, I'll miss. Uh, Wolf, back to you. That's for me. And this one's going to get hit with... Going to get missed with Frostbrand. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Woo! Well, that is a what? dead bandit. What? Look, even with the get something fancy for that? Something fancy? One for natural twenty. For all, but There's another button for that too. I was I was rolling it. You didn't even give me a chance. Oh. Uh, you can disarm your opponent. Although you already did, <laughs> he's dead. A squirrel. What was that for? I didn't. Get, I didn't see it because he distracted me. 
Uh, Bandit Lord. Uh, we don't get to know what happened? I, I just told you. He can we, try to disarm the, the guy, but he's dead. It doesn't matter. Oh. You didn't queue up for that, I don't think. Yeah, because I didn't hear it. Um, Bandit Lord's going to attack. Somebody gave him a nat 22. I think everybody in the party's had a nat. They wanted me to have one. So let's attack Dooski. Smash. Oh, nat. nat 20. Uh, So 17. You're going to take 8 damage because you're raging. Okay. It's just exclamation D100. I think. And then uh, that's his first attack. Rest attacks are normal. An actual hit for three. And a hit for four. They're all on me? Yeah, well, you're the only one he's next to. He's up here. So I've got... I took eight. Now three and four? Uh, so seven more? Yes. Yep. Okay. And then it's back to Xavier. 46. All right. Uh, it's 46. Uh, plugging away at this guy. Staff of the Woodlands. Woo baby. Uh, hit or... <clears throat> that will hit. And that will too. And he's dead. And uh, bonus action, I'm going to. Uh, how are. Uh, can I tell how my party members are doing? Uh, nobody looks to be extremely injured, as Wolf has set out a steady supply of healing magic. Are you done? Yes, I'm complete now. Okay, uh, there is one captain left. He is just going to continue attacking Wolf. It looks like a hit for seven. And then it's Dusky's turn again. Okay. So let's do. Let's try this one more time. I'm done. Go! Oh my god. Alright, first attack is a miss. And the second attack would definitely hit him. Uh, wait a minute. Has he took his turn yet? No, he has not. Uh, he. Oh, wait. Yes, he has. It's been. He used his reaction on Sasha's turn. Sasha's about to go again. All right. Uh, yeah, he's going to grab the guy next to him and throw him in front. So you end up, oh, yeah. instead of slicing him open, you kill the uh, little bandit next to him. Okay. And that's it for me. Sashk. Yes. Arrows to that guy's face. What? That's not very nice. Well, that's what he gets from in the face. <laughs> All right. So that's, they started uh, this conflict, hit, not us. Hit. 18, 19, 24. Yeah, and that's my turn. Well, technically? Uh, Bandit, these three here, attacking Xavier. Ha ha, he got too close. Uh, you're welcome to take a, uh opportunity attack against one, one of them, Dooski. I guess I'll just take a nap well no that's a hit you that kills one does it count yeah their ac is uh lower than that all right so the bandits are gonna walk God. up to xavier we're gonna try and give him a poking pretty sure that even if i roll yeah uh one here by wolf poke up oh, that's a that's a hit no it's not i have to roll 
Yep, that's a hit for three, Wolf. And it's uh, your turn. Did he AFK or hello? Wolf? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Another 13 for us. And then this dude's getting popped in the face with a stop. Oh, uh, was this for the which one? The left or oh, the ward? Yeah. I'm kind of wishing I hadn't burned my reaction now. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I don't think that matters because magic missile can't miss. All right, yeah, he's hurt really bad. And then he's going to turn around. He's he's bleeding. He's almost dead. He is going to disengage from you, uh, Drop. And then he's going to try and run. It doesn't even this. It doesn't matter. He's running. Kuski doesn't get an opportunity attack there. Well, no, because he took the disengage action. And disengage doesn't provoke AO. And uh, he's already used his reaction this round. All right. Well... Let's see here. Shit. Okay. Um, now it ruins my plans, but I'll do it anyway. I cast Thunderstep. So okay. Need to make a, both of these guys need to make a, a, a concept. Nope. Yep, they both fail and die. And I appear over there. That's not very nice. No, it's not. Uh, the bandit captain here, he's going to continue attacking Wolf. Miss, miss, and... If I get a three or higher. Hey, take seven, Wolf. You just, they won't let up. Now, Dusky, it's your turn. Okay, so <clears throat> can, uh, I have no one around me, so I'm going to chase his ass and attack him. Right? I don't I do not want him to get away. Ow. I can reach him from here. Okay. So I am going to move to Needed to right be within there. thirty within thirty of what? Uh attack. No. Uh, come on. There we go. Should have yell at it. Who we so that's a crit. Uh yes. Which also means you gain uh eight hit points because mm -hmm. of uh Arundel. And the Lord is dead. There we go. Maybe he's got good treasures. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Sashk. Yeah, so I'm gonna move my hunter's mark over to the pirate-looking motherfucker, and then shoot at him. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh. Mm hmm. That is a thing that has happened. Yep. What good thing happened? This doesn't happen often. What good thing happened? It's twenty-seven. Um. You can choose to gain advantage on all attacks against your target on the next round, but if you do, they will have advantage against you. On the next round or this round? Through the next round. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Give me, I'll take advantage. It's only them who gets advantage against me, right? Yep. Okay, well, they're about to be dead, so it's okay. 
uh, eight, and then thirteen. Yep. Done. Yep, that's all I got. One bandit. He's going to uh, walk away from Wolf. What? Wolf, you can take it out for two. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. A miss. Everything's back to normal. Uh, he's gonna shoot the bird. No, he's not. Wait. Oh, no, he's not. Then the uh, then Wolf, it's your turn. I tried. I tried to do a thing. Mm. This guy here is getting hit with Sacred Flame. Damn it. He's fast. Hey, that's out for me. Xavier? Uh, we'll go ahead and move my hex to the bandit leader. Dude. So many dots. This. That's it. And he's dead. <laughs> So, what do we got left here? Just the one guy in the center? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, well, I guess I'll move down there. And attack him. And then attack again, if need be. Uh, no. Nope. He's dead. Sorry. Cut him up. Okay, and that is the end of combat. Let's very quickly loot the bodies. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Maybe don't loot stay around. Real fast. And then get Maybe. down into the caves, dude. Okay. All right. So um, can we loot the, looting uh, the, the bodies? The cap? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got the uh, small pouch full of uh, full of gold. It's got roughly 50 coins in it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he also has a large staff. It's wrapped completely in burlap. Um, obvious he wasn't going to use it. It seems like he was carrying it somewhere. Hmm. There we go. Now it's here hey, somewhere. Hey, Wolf, use your... Fancy star on this rope. And fancy what I want? Your yes. identify stone on this staff. It looks fancy. Characters. Handouts. All right. Let's identify it. Gotta be here somewhere. Oh, I need I need a handout for the code legal. All right. So you identify it, and you find a staff of the woodlands. Staff of the Woodlands. We should put it in the bag of holding and then continue our adventure. Yep. So I take Got it right. and toss it in. Okay. <laughs> Just throw it in the bag. Let's go. The first word that matters is must be attuned by a druid. Right. Yeah. Therefore, it's a bag. What? Someone might want to dip in the druid. I don't know. Maybe. I've considered it. Well, let me put, put, let me put you in the. Why don't you click and drag the staff of the woodlands into the bag of holding? Um, let me see if I can. They still have the bag of beans. Because yeah. it's not a druid. Oh I get snap! It. No. That didn't work either. No, it's totally there. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Magic. I didn't do it. You must have did it when you did. Yep, definitely. So to the yawning portal then. Yep. Yes. So returning to the yawning portal. Um what do you guys do first? Uh, uh tell him to seek out see if he can find somebody for the magical items. Okay. Set up some orders. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I give him four gold for our return that. All right. So you give him four gold for the return back down. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a handout, okay? And this is directly word for word from the... Um, from Well, it's from Xanathar's Guide, but it's the only place where they detail how you can actually buy magic items. Um... There it is. So here's basically what how it's going to work. You can spend 100 gold pieces to hire someone for a week. After that week, um, they're going to check back in. They're going to say, oh, I found something, or no, I didn't find something. And then you're going to make a roll. Depending on what that roll is, you see there's a big list of what what item you could have found it's all random it's not like you can just pick oh i want this badass weapon no it's more like uh it, it, it's all a crapshoot right um however once you do find an item depending on the rarity the seller that that guy connected you with is gonna determine the price and that's what the second uh the second box is like and then the second box like, if it's a rare it'll the value of the item will be 2d10 times a thousand and then the last box uh details if there's any complications i'm gonna say right now i am far too lazy to try and attach complications to every item you guys find so generally i'm just going to ignore that last section okay okay uh good. i'm gonna go hit the head real quick while you guys consider if you want how many people you want to uh or uh, how much money you want to invest right now in sending people out. I got 100 each probably sounds right. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. I'm going to... 100 gold. I'm going to piss as well. Same. All right, be right back. So, chat. How y'all going, doing? and stuff. Fine stuff, that's cool, that's cool. Break thing the work with World 20, what are you talking about? I'm a bird. IRL. I have trained my camo. Finest chair casting on Twitch? Nice. I'm there. I'm wearing a bird costume. Don't tell anybody. Ah. Mm. Okay, hello. Time is fickle. We don't have enough of it. Mm -hmm. Not enough for D&D &D at least. 
Oh, why is that? We need more time in life for D and D. Need more hours. I don't know. I I get I got plenty of time for D. <laughs> yeah, but if there was more hours in the day, then you could fit more D and D. More D and D. Oh my god. More. I played five hours on Saturday night. That was plenty. Of time. So I'm gonna say this now, right? Because uh, it is February. I got end of May. I'll be going on vacation, right? So end of May, I'm going to start... Not No, before end of May. Like, beginning of May, I'm going to start looking for people who want to play games during my daytime schedule. So all of you in chat or anybody in the Discord, just uh, mm. keep your keep your mornings open. Or the summer, because that's what people you know. That's, that's when I think of summer. That's what I think of of sheltering myself in my office away from the sunshine. <clears throat> playing would D &D. you want to be running, or would you want to be in a game? Uh, either. Cool. Either it's just the 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 main goal is to have content up in the AM and PM all through the summer. Sure. So you're going full blown. Trying to, man. No more um, no more magic? No, nah, that was only the one week. Oh, uh, okay. You're not gonna continue with it? Uh I might I might play it sun or Wednesday nights, because that's kind of my uh free day right now anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So a hundred gold per each. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, I'm done with that. So let me eight ninety nine we'll be at. I have more than that, so I'm going to spend 300 and get three of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? That sounds well, like a good idea. Uh, read the the second portion, right? Uh, on Where it says yeah, resolution. Uh, here, I can make it pop back up. Plus one bonus. Check for every work week. Or yeah. first. Or, Additional hundred goals. Yes. So if the more gold you invest, the better the better chances you are of finding something, uh, something valuable or decent. Because that's that's yeah, kind of the thing, right? Eight hundred gold. You, I'm gonna put in right now. Eight hundred gold. All right. Mm-hmm. Because here's the thing, right? Like you're sending out, on, you're sending all these people out saying, "Hey, uh, we're looking for magic items." And and the idea is that yeah, there's gonna be shady people who are like, oh yeah, I got this uh, magical sword, you know, it does uh, all this stuff and it's got like a plus three bonus and uh, it glows it's when there's nice. it glows when there's enemies around. It's crazy good. And then you buy it and it's like not. <laughs> that actually happened in one of our other games. Uh, Junior bought a uh, magical sword from a not so reputable person. And it was magical, and it did glow when there was uh, goblins around, but that's literally all it did. It doesn't provide any other bonuses. He got got. That's awesome. So that's a great accent. You need to use that more often. <laughs> oh, so yeah. the more <laughs> money we spend, the better chance that it's real. Up to a plus ten. Yeah, you can yeah, you can add, you can throw an extra one thousand gold on the price. Give yourself a better chance. Uh, well, that's what I'm gonna do then. Save is just gonna go 300. Wait for me. I want the full thousand. You write that down. I probably should write that down, huh? Okay, I mean, so you Wolf did a thousand. Uh, drop did. I did 800. Eight, 800 additional or total? Uh, total. All right. So, drop one 10 day plus 700 GP. Wolf. I mean, we could sell that staff. Yeah. And then we could just go all out on this and pay the full amount. Nah, I think we should keep the staff. Sounds like Xavier wants the staff. Yeah, I kind of do. Uh, 
Uh, Xavier, were you hiring someone? Uh, yes, just 300 gold total. Saving it for a rainy day, huh? Saving it for whatever comes back. And what about you, uh, Bear? I did 100 gold because I spent a lot of money on other things. So 100 gold is all I got to spend on this unless we sold the staff. All right, I have it noted. So, so, uh, Dernan looks around, bangs his fist on the table. All right, uh, now we're in business. I'll pass this along right away and get those men on the ground. See if we can't find you something interesting. So then we need to come back in the tent, eh? Oh, uh, you know, just come back whenever you're, uh, Whenever you're ready, I'm I'm sure that they would have returned by then. All right, well, let's head back down. We've already paid our goal. Okay, let's go. All right, so you guys. Climb, well, not climb. You guys hop on the rope and they lower you down back inside the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Um, you guys begin the long process of uh, worming your way through the uh, through the Xanathar tunnels to get back to the second floor. And then you drop down to the second floor and are standing there uh, within the, the the Goblin Bazaar, where we had left you guys. Do we, um... Do we, do we call it here? I mean, it's 10 o'clock, but I feel like we haven't done anything. Well, do we have time to get into some trouble? I don't know, because right now, right, like, you guys have already explored a large portion of this floor, but... I don't know where you want to go. Here, let's just see. Right, we should have time. Uh, while we were making our way back, I went ahead and used the rod to give myself a spell slot back. Okay. So, which way are you guys going? find myself there we go. oh were we able to go back to that room and see if we could find the key that was on the goblin blast disintegrated sure and the fire should be quelled by now right uh well only one way to find out let's go look at the fires Well. well, it's super dark over here, so I'm sure the fires are out. Yeah, as you approach the uh, the chambers, you can see that they are covered in a, a thick fog, and that there are ash and scorch marks all over the ground. But no fire. No fire. Well, which way did we go? Down to the right. Uh, Xavier, if Down you're going to try and to dig through the, right. the ash and rubble to find the key, I'm going to need a investigation check. Okay. Uh, I'd like to help him. With advantage. All right. Um, you dig through for quite some time, and you find it. Surprisingly, you're just as shocked as uh, you can imagine. But but there, amidst all of the other other ruins, is a small bronze key. I found it. Can you believe it? This is crazy. 
Yeah, but where does it go? It must go around here somewhere. Haven't we already looked through this room for secret doors? Like last time we were here. I think we did when we were trapped in there and we didn't find any. Yeah, that is correct. You've searched in there for secret doors and there are none. We haven't checked the northern part of this area, though. No, you have not. I mean, we've been over by the bazaar on the west side. Do we go to the east side at all? Um, we went kind of far. I think Xavier's being dumb. Is he? Is he? Mm hmm. Am I being dumb? Group, call it. Do you go explore to the north or to the south? Uh oh. Let's go north. Damn it. Sure. We lose somebody? Wolf is smoking, I thought. No. No, he's here. Somebody dipped, though. I'm here. There we go. I guess you guys can hear me, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Wolf just dropped. This guy just dropped. Yep, that was. I might have hit a button by accident, and everything went quiet. Or did it on purpose? Mm. That could have been it. Yeah. All right. So exploring to the north. Yeah. Which north? Uh, up. Like up through the top of the bazaar. Right. Yeah. Well, we definitely haven't gone there yet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We've gone south and then east. I should just block it off. <gasps> hey, uh, I see a door. You want to take out that bobble real quick and light some stuff up? The drift globe? Uh, yeah. Did I ever make you guys a character for the drift globe or no? Yeah. I think so. Totally did. That so no, where I are did. we going? Like up it's in this your way, e or equipment we where have. Is north. I'm picking it. I can't make it exist. Just, like I can't give us a token can, of it. You can Please. drag it back. To can the you table ping top. where you are? Just go. Just ping the map. There we go. Okay, so I can see in the dark. There we go. Okay, set light. What can this thing light up for us again? Light. Bam. That wasn't me, but that works. Hmm. So, the door there. Open it! Yeah. Well, Dusky, you want to do your door duty? I pass him yes. a stick. Uh, I'll hand you the key. Stick the stick down the hallway. Anything there? Like you're just shoving it in the air, like swirling it around. No, there's nothing uh, there. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. For after you open the door, too. Purchase, man. I should say. Um, okay, I'm gonna listen. Do I hear? You got fucking eaten. How many times by those stupid <laughs> banana skins? Okay. Those oh, sticks I'm not are saying it was a bad purchase. Okay, I'm I agreeing. Just... Hand up some sarcasm. <laughs> right the power of Good stick. purchase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do I hear anything against the door there? No. Okay. I'm going to open the door. Open the door, and you see this room is full of treasure. There's a. Oh, yeah. There's a gruesome diorama. Featuring stuffed corpses of a beholder and several goblins, all of them in battle poses and adorned with costume jewelry. There's an ivory chessboard on a low stone table, a nine foot tall, three foot wide framed painting of Yek the Tall, depicting him in his regal human form, standing proudly with his golden circlet, and a hefty iron banded wooden chest with iron rings and handles, sits in a corner. 
Oh, that sounds crazy. What do you guys think? I look at the chat. Nah. There ain't nothing in there. Why don't you have your, well, who wants to open the chest? Try to poke in the chest. Uh, so I use the stick to poke the Wait chest. Wait a second, Alright, uh, yeah, you poke it. It doesn't move, it's heavy. Okay. So I, I don't know. Is there any way like that you magic wielders can check this chest to see if it's giving <laughs> off any bad? Make combat robots every floor. <laughs> I do not have the ability to check that. I mean, you could like use, you just find use out. your eyes, right? All right. Save, you're just going to walk over to the chest after watching these guys pull kind of a stick. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's not locked. The lid swings open. You see it's full of silver nibs. Okay, this is way too easy, fellas. Just going to throw that out there. I shoot an arrow at the chest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the... Uh... The arrow pierces into the big pile of coins, severing several of them uh, spilling over onto the floor. Oh, wow. Okay. Looks like I've committed attack by a rug. Okay. Somebody, fic uh, somebody fill their pockets with gold. Oh, so <laughs> oh. Right, I'm going to cast Inflict Wounds on... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, I guess... Have your imp have your pick imp up one silver coin. Xavier. He picks up one. Uh, as he does, the, the chest reaches out with teeth growing out of the wooden hinges as it reveals itself to be a mimic! Oh. Nah, I'm totally, oh, I'm totally joking. Damn, I was so I'm hoping totally joking. It's just wrong. a regular chest. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with the chest. He, he picks up one piece of silver and it's just like, he picks it up and he shows it to me. And he puts it somewhere I don't see, and then he just picks up another one. He starts picking them up. Okay, so... 500 silver. There. <laughs> well, we need to take... We should take all this treasure. Somehow. Last time we picked up more than we could, uh, it cost us a bag of holding. Throw it in the bag. Uh... All of it. I mean, how much is there, approximately? Five hundred each. Oh, yeah, let's just do that then. Okay. Well, then I'll take my five hundred. Replenish my supply here. Taking my five hundred. Too much. It's heavy. Yeah. Who would think little uh, pieces of metal would be heavy? Right. <laughs> All right, is there anything else in this room? No. Can we take a deep look on the walls and stuff? See if there's any sure. secret doors. There are no secret doors. I don't even... Okay. So, okay. was this the do locked door, or was this not the do locked door? This was the locked door, yeah. Wow. Well, we should continue our adventure break, maybe? Sure. Yeah. There we go. Well, north, right? We can't go any farther, further north. We really can't go any farther can't north. can't see there. Oh, sorry. There's nothing in the northern part of this. a throne. That's kind of hmm. What about to the left? The west? So that's Under. where we came from. That was the auction area. Um, you can go south, I guess. Bozo. Dusky? Wolf? 
if we go south and then east a little bit and then south, we haven't gone there yet. Okay. Uh, sure. How far south? Um, out of the bazaar. Down this way. Yeah. I know we're up here, but uh, and then we're going south. Yeah, if we go south this from side. here. I don't think we've been there yet. Okay. According to my map. I need a stick broker. Well, Dusky has the stick. Okay. Don't you have a bunch of them? Yeah. I Mism, one thank you for the sub, man. So Welcome to the one. family. Appreciate you. I am... It's a tunnel about 120 feet up. Trying to fix the map here. There we go. So, well, I'm walking forward with the stick out, you know, sticking it out, you know, in front of me like a... Uh, <laughs> like a <person>. lance? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You're supposed to water. you're supposed to tap it on the ground to check for pressure plates, dummies. I didn't say they can't hear me. <laughs> tap 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 for pressure plates for pressure plates and trip wires. That's the real power of the stick. <laughs> Keep on cruising. So there's a tunnel here. Okay. Go what do you guys want to do? You want to go up the uh, tunnel or some other direction? Have we been in there yet? Maybe we send the up. I guess. All right, going. Nothing bad happened last time we just sent him in a tunnel. He says there's another hallway. I'm trying to find. Oh yeah. Um, these hallways are lined with crumbling stone tables and shelves upon which sturdy dwarven anvils, whetstones, tongs, hammers, chisels, and other implements of a forge. As you, uh, oh. as you walk in here, you can see a, a large gate. And, uh... This gate is set in, uh, has stone, uh, almost like cobblestone, set all the way around it in a huge arch. But one of the stones, um, whereas all the others are, are roughly shaped in ovals, this one is a very noticeable um, hexagon. It sticks out from all the others, and carved in the front of it is the shape of a tree. Hmm. Hmm. Where is that archway? You're standing in front of it. Oh, okay, cool. Are we going up there? The archway is right here. Okay. So we're going in the hole. I don't know. Does mm -hmm. a 10 foot uh, wooden well. pole count as a yep. dead yep. twig sure. or branch? I'm too thick. I can't get in the hole. Is there any kind of writing on the the archway or anything? No writing, no markings. The only thing of note is the the image of the dead tree on the hexagon stone. Is this the door here? Yes. Oh. All right. Uh... All right, I guess we'll just walk on through it, see what happens. Walking through does nothing. Okay. Is there anything of interest on the other side? Nope, it's just a... Uh... A rough cut 
area. Uh, it it goes wider on the opposite side, but nothing really of interest. What's the Elvis word for passage? No. <laughs> it's the Elvis word for dead tree. Um. Hey, uh, this might be weird. Uh, that that staff you have. Let's see if we can like touch it to it. See if it'll work. Whoa! <laughs> Which staff? That will the definitely one, count. One. I will. Ten years I, that would definitely the be thing. See if it a uh, a dead the tree branch. staff. If we just found on the bandit guy. I guess. Well, Dusky's got that. Okay, well, let's use it on the deal. Use it. I mean, it's dead wood. I mean, I figure we put dead wood on dead wood, and that would do something? Hmm. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I should do an arcana check for If you'd like to, you can roll an arcana. Maybe I'll have All an right. idea after this. So, so looking through it, right, you recognize this to be a gate. And that uh, you know that gates are used to transport people between great distances. And you recognize the hexagonal stone as the keystone. Where is the store that we're touching? I don't it's, see it. It's right. It's the opening here. Okay. You're standing well, I touch it with the stick. Anything happen? Yes. Uh, and when you touch the keystone with... Wait, what stick? You mean the 10-foot the pole? Yeah. No, nothing happens. I think I've revealed the okay. secret. I walk up to it and touch it with my hands. That does nothing. I touch the does keystone? It does nothing. Does my arcana check help me at all? I was mid telling you. <laughs> I apologize. Um, yeah, like you know that in order to activate the gate, you have to uh, perform a certain function usually. Give me the the wood staff we got from the the guy upstairs. The, the yeah. dude. Tuski's got it, but. Wolf's no, only no you do. It's in the bag. He's got the bag of holding. I've got the haversack. Oh, that's right. Yeah, dude, he's got the bag of holding. I don't trust those anymore. I, when they have made me. <laughs> I'm assuming one of them gave it to me. I'll touch it to the stone. Touching the uh the the branch uh the branches of the staff of the arch druids to the keystone causes the gate to roar to life uh let me see if i have something for this shockingly i turned to the group it, it's it's open guys fade to black we all die i give back to, i give back the uh the stone, the staff. This okay. looks safe. It, it stands open in front of you uh, for a moment. It almost looks like blue flame. Wait, isn't this like the thing that dude described? Yes. Like a portal? Like a portal. Hmm. Should we go on the portal, guys? Why don't you send your imp? Here, I got a better one. Tap, 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 tap. What says if we go through this portal, we can get back to where we are? Uh, as you look through the portal, what you see is more dungeon. You're looking through yeah. this space to uh, somewhere else within the, the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Oh. Sounds like fun. Sure. 
What's the worst that could happen? Sure. Who wants to go first? I'll do it, I guess. All right. Okay, so... Stepping forward, uh, you try to walk through the portal, and you feel a force pushing against you. There, there is something invisible blocking your, your entrance to the portal. With the stick. Seems like I can't get through. Can I st try and shove the stick through the resistance? The stick passes through easily. Ah, so it doesn't like flesh. Why don't? Or maybe it doesn't like reptiles. Somebody else? Uh, yeah, sure. Why don't I? I'll, I'll go. Sure. Let's try this. Uh, Xavier steps forward. Uh, you, you uh, step forward. But you don't even get that close. You you stop a clear six, seven feet away from it. And, and you can tell that he's straining, pushing to get closer. Uh, you hear, all of you hear a voice. You are not yet strong enough. And the portal closes. Hmm. Hmm. Something Yes. Stronger? Well, we tried. Hmm. Maybe mark this place for later. There. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we gonna. Do we want to rest somewhere around here? <laughs> or how late are we going tonight? Probably not much longer. Do you want to try fortifying this portal room? Nothing bad will come, I'm sure. <laughs> I guess. Take For convenience sake. Oh, hey, look, guys. This uh, There's this tunnel just dead ends. It's perfectly safe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, so that's where we're going to end for today. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. I appreciate you being here and for all the, the support you guys have given me with cheers and donations and subscriptions. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, make sure you hit the follow button. If you haven't already, check out all the links down below. Join us in our Discord so you can get involved in a game, learn how to play. Uh, if you are interested in seeing more D&D content, check out the schedule so you can see the next time we go live. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow.